true. <laughs> Windows security. How do I fucking turn you off? He is true. The day true. Of I have. And he is further from I would not be deified. That's that's correct. Yeah. Oh, why do I have to Google this? No, um, how to temporarily turn off Windows Defender. <laughs> I just want to fucking download this fucking file. And it keeps deleting it despite the fact that I've downloaded millions of files off this website. Okay, and it's having a problem with this file specifically? No, it does this every once in a while. Flip a coin, usually. But usually when oh I say keep God. it... I have I did, I did. It just hasn't happened in a long time, okay? It's, it's all coming together now. I didn't like fully understand the ramifications of what he was saying when he uh, said like... Fifteen minutes ago, I don't have an antivirus. I was like, "Oh no!" Windows Defender went works just fine, apparently. Windows Defender isn't actually that good. It's meant to be a baseline to protect, because it's essentially just a firewall. It's fine. No, it's not. It's fine. I want, I want him to get us, so I might, might like... Ah, like, oh, fuck, no, you're right, you're right. right. I, 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 I shut up now. No, 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 but I'm like, the next time we meet each other, I'm just gonna walk him through how to break most Windows systems, and he's never gonna feel safe again. Yeah, but who would want to break into my computer, is the question. Don't you have Ethereum? Uh, not on this computer. Ah. So, Shreffy, what are we, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Like, there's nothing of value here. Yeah, this is really becoming a habit. Quite. <laughs> Thank you.
does anyone uh, buddy want to go first? Or I mean, I have things to do. I just don't want to do two in a row for me, you know. I mean, this was useful for me too. Um. Wasn't it kind of failures, like, quest thing? I don't know. I mean, so, I guess we should gather up at a relatively um, anonymous location to discuss our next steps, considering the delicate nature of what we are planning on doing. Yes, shall we try with myth? Myth? Uh, is the priest right? Uh, oh, right. Um, Veronica's I, guarantor. Yes, I, I thought that um, she was away for at least another few days. Will oh, well, as long as the ball's rolling on that. Will he be able to find you uh, without any issues were we to uh, relocate to uh, a bar belonging to some friends of a friend of an uncle, perhaps? No. Oh. Lovely. I'll bear that in mind. Oh, yes. Um, well, then, uh... It, as it could be quite a lengthy story, perhaps uh, we should go to that bar I mentioned. The only prying ears um, that should be uh, skulking about there are uh, quite friendly. Or so I've heard. And uh, this will uh, look around, try to find a bar with um, the telltale marks on, you know, the door sill or a window, maybe right underneath the sign or something. Well, yes, kind of, but, you know, make sure that it it's in the hands of his friends in the eye. Kind of use it as a, as a way to keep Minbar informed without actually having to go inform her. <laughs> you know, because, yeah, that, that'll be a weird conversation. Um, yeah, maybe a room would be better. I'll look at the party. Mm. Uh, how, how packed is the bar? All right, um, let's get a corner table, then. No need to get a room and all that. Gotta keep an eye on the door and shit, you know. Sneaky-like. Um, weird, weird question. A sending stone, is that connected to another sending stone, or is that just, like, something I can cast sending with? Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, but I'd have to know that other sending stones like um, ID, basically. Well, 
。哦。二审。嗯。Yep. Uh, speaking of drinks, I'm gonna go grab mine. I got mine. Oh shit! No, I I'm grabbing beer. Yeah. Boys, boys, boys. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I'm confused. Um, exactly what we're doing. Because, uh, big old sleepy Jimmy left for the last week. And uh, okay. Who are that and, you know, other or other steps forward. Um, I guess I'll just, like, I went to the loo or something. Um. What do you mean? <laughs> then it'll just work only out specific a ones. Work out a lab. Just like Look, well, kind of drives us crazy and gets us in trouble all the time. Then uh, it'll just laugh and say, "Ragum would be ecstatic to hear you." Um, Refer to him as such. He was most certainly not as influential as would seem. A little bit of a buffoon. Well, in that measure, influence is not really the best word for it. Shall we say, um, no, I would agree with Averna here. I would say that's a very influential figure. Pot <laughs> potentially um, a potential disaster? Well, uh, that too, but still influential. See, fine, fine. Brag of himself, very formidable man, but... And I, I, I respect him, of course. Having said that, there are things that need to happen, and nothing will get in the way of those goals. Or that path, rather. No, Especially with the path that Ragum is on. Well, I don't know about things needing to happen. That sounds an awful lot like uh, fate and whatnot, but, um,. Well, it would be helpful to get back what is mine without having to burn down a warehouse or some such. It's been a while since I've gone full anarchist, and to be honest, I like to think those days are behind me. That just makes everything boring. Spoken like a true, um, what was it, 30-year-old? 
<laughs> Once you get past your first century and a half, it all gets quite dull. Did we not defeat the Icy Huntress? Well... She and I came to an arrangement. I assure you that she won't be any trouble to us at home anymore. This will just give a wide smile and hope she leaves it at that. <laughs> Me? I would never. I. Well, if she would offer it. Um. I've, I've mated with worse, as you say. Well, I will have you know there was this one time with this gnomish fellow. Oh, quite the. Uh, uh, back to the subject at hand. <clears throat> Well, um, she was something of a folk hero, shall we say, would be the equivalent, wouldn't it? Um, if I remember wild. correctly, you described her as a legend. A folk hero and a legend do not coincide. Well, folk tales could also... Folk tales are somewhat synonymous with legends. In any case, she was quite well known, and I simply had some questions as to why she was um, pursuing me. Uh, we came to an agreement whereby she gave me some information about uh, some uh, enemies of mine, and promised to uh, not hinder me, and she was free to leave. I don't believe that we could have kept her for very long in any case. Oh, I was clear to include my companions in our agreement, yes. Not my first time around the block, as it were. You just gonna insight check the fuck out of that? 19? Uh, yes, Themis did, in fact, uh, uh, include his companions in his, in his wording. Oh, how wonderful. The fair slippery like that. In any Where case, um, if you wanted to know more, I should warn you that you would be getting involved with uh, quite the unsavory group of individuals, and that perhaps in this case, uh, ignorance is bliss, as it were. Most gracious of you. My final question is what was the information that you gave that made her decide that killing you was not worth it? Whatever do you mean? I didn't give her much of anything at all. I remember. Actually, wait. Time out. I don't remember this discussion 100%. Did I give her anything? She asked me a few questions, right? She, like, I didn't give her anything logistic, I thought. I thought she was interested in my motives and shit. Um, well, nothing pertaining to uh, anything truly important. She was simply curious as to the 
reasons of uh, what she called my folly, as it were. And uh, had some somewhat personal questions that I didn't see a uh, reason to not answer. But no, the, you misunderstand. The, the bargain was her life for information, not information for information. Then this will just give a toothy grin to Yoru. <laughs> Yoru will just nod his head back and go back to his drink. Great, then. Um, before I ask the more important questions, um, would, is anyone here at a disadvantage because there are possibly prying ears? Um, like I said, the prying ears around here are friends of a friend, if you could say that. Uh, you could say that. shouldn't have to worry too much about them. Okay. Well then, that case, Yorin. Anyone chasing you? Yorin will just lean back in his chair and just ponder. No, I haven't seemed to piss anyone off lately. <clears throat> out of character, uh, Yudi will... Out of character, Yudi will do a spit take uh, and then cough a little bit and then readjust himself. <laughs> Purely out of character, though. <laughs> Does does that not count as you pissing someone off, Yoru? Well, technically yes, but yes, that is quite the big but there. See, he was after someone who stole his book, and since mm. I am not one for reading, I had no need to steal any book. And so, in his mind, I am the culprit, but he is surely mistaken. I don't remember stealing any books. Uh, that is will pull out a notebook out of his uh, out of his cloak and start flicking flicking back through the pages. Um. Nope, nope, nothing here about stealing books. Unless it was fifty years back. But that doesn't seem right. He would have shown up by now. Well, if, if he's a man that cheats death, we, we don't know how old this grudge could be from. <laughs> Smooth, right? <laughs> yes, but that was across the med. I, I would presume he would have gotten me while I was in the desert. Uh, no. It says here it was resolved. Nope, haven't stolen any books that were not dealt with. There he is. So, I haven't stolen any books recently. Yorin certainly hasn't. Um, I, I presume since she's the one ask asking, um, uh, Vernica hasn't. That leaves you, Yudi. Yeah. Oh. Stolen any books lately? Oh, you are a oh, large oh, book reader. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... And then you will kind of, like, sigh a little bit and be like, Yes, I stole a book. When did you have the time to steal from a lich? You're what, four... <coughs> um... That was hot. Dennis will just glare at Yudi. Yudi will sip at his non-alcoholic drink? <laughs> As failure sits on his very alcoholic drink. Wait, did you steal from a lich with us? When did we encounter a lich? 
Well, deductively, I would say it must have been on the train. It's also a shame I, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I may, and I'm gonna go search around my, uh, my sack for if, if I still have a book, and I will produce that. Yeah, for transportation, which I, which I read, I believe. Um, and then there was the other one, which was, I can't remember what sort of magic. Oh, what was the low level one then? Oh, wait, I think one was illusion because I picked up invisibility. No, I bought invisibility, didn't I? What no. the fuck did I do? Sadness. It was kind a of, long time ago. Nobody can really blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and I will pull that out, place it above my spellbook, kind of push it off. Uh, Should you be bringing that out into the open? Well, I guess your bag isn't much better. Oh, what's that arm? Well, he... Mr. Um, Lichman. Man. Bones, um, is obviously uh, able to track it somehow. Oh, I doubt it's for the book. After all, uh, I had it. With, well, no, I had it in the house. Oh, maybe. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start ritual casting tech magic without like really following that. Just, just gonna break into do my own thing to avoid a line of questioning. I do not believe that he is. I do not believe that he is tracking the book. I think that there is some other way that he is tracking us. When, when I fought him, he stated that we were easy enough to easy enough to find because of the amount of wards we placed. Oh, and so I am not the most. Would be the one time that having a heavily warded safe house would be an inconvenience. I must mention it to Minbar at some point, but perhaps. And then we'll just kind of trail off and scribble a note and flip all the way back to the end of his uh, book and uh, scribble another note in there. In any case, uh, whenever you're done, what it is you're doing there? Actually, do Arcana rolls work like that? If I see someone casting a spell, can I roll an Arcana to see if I recognize it? Sounds super about that. Well, he, he's he's ritual casting. Yeah. Okay. When you're done inspecting the book for magic, um. Perhaps we should continue on our line of questioning. I feel if he was going to attack us in broad daylight, I feel that he would have done it already. If you prefer, I could find a way to uh, toss the books through a confluence. I'm sure you could have quite the fun romp through some stranger's woodlands. Or a mushroom field. Yes, I believe you're confused, but uh, the point stands. Oh, well, hey, shut up. I was trying to... I was just making references. Hmm. 
<laughs> in any case. Well, we did warn you that we were in a mite of trouble. Ah, but the trust was thin back then, and now it is thick, like the blood that has been spilled in the streets. Yoram will kind of lean back in it. Lean back in his chair. You say confident in our abilities, as though it's a bad thing, but as far as I know, no harm has come to you yet. And we have dealt with our fair share of danger. Seems to be somewhat of a recurring thing. Uh, and you will peek up from the sofa for like half a second and just say, Well, you are in need. Right. Um, while he's doing that, I did have some questions as to the nature of, um, your pursuer. I believe we'd spoken about it briefly when we arrived at the safe house, but I was quite exhausted. Um, so, when you say undying... Did you mean also? You know, you have Ragnar Lothbrok as your fucking, <laughs> as your freaking Viking. Okay. Are you just, you're just barely realizing this. I well, I'm rewatching wow. Vikings. My cousin's calling me a lot. Um, so but you called him Undying. Did she, is that a literal title or a, a figurative one? Is there any way that we could perhaps drown him in a river? Um, is he allergic to sunlight, like some of the vampires? Um, any possible way of, you know, getting rid of him for good? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've heard that your uh, gods are not exactly easy to uh, reach deals with. Quite a shame, honestly. But um, that leaves us with a few options. Um, seeing a uh, Drawing him out of the city and uh, into the ocean would probably not be feasible. Um, perhaps we could collapse a cave on him. Um, my initial thought was to, to tie some heavy things to him and drop him into the ocean, but it seems un unnecessarily cruel. At the same time, perhaps dropping a cave on him is also cruel. But at least he doesn't have to suffocate over and over. Um, well, 
temporary is a term used very loose in referring to a span of years, centuries, and decades. If we collapse a large enough amount of rubble on top of him, I'm, I'm sure that no matter what bargain he's uh, uh, breached with the gods, he can he, he would have a quite a hard time getting out of it. Will you explain the bargain that you guys made in more depth? And what so, happened that your apprentice, or sorry, pupil, now wishes you um, a most unpleasant fate? Sounds like a load of hogwash, but that that's what sets him off. I see. That is uh, quite the host of strong f feelings there. But I, I interrupted Yoram. Please do go on. I forgot what I was going to say. Right, you wanted to know more oh, about what um, he thought of the bargain with uh, mm -hmm. that he had made. You said you had some inclining of what he might have done. This will just raise an eyebrow at that last part and not comment. Make a little note in his notebook. Don't need. The only problem with that is that we'd have to know exactly what deal he made. Because if we came in talking to the god of Pluto about a possibility that could have been the bargain, he's not going to believe us at all. Well, I could help with that, but only if I knew where he... Oh, I'm seeing here. I I could possibly help with that, but only if we know where he eats. 
uh, you do know where he, he he probably still eats, right? I would imagine that starving to death would be an unfortunate agony. Do you have any inkling of where he... What places he haunts, as it were? Hmm. Well, that's a simple enough matter to find out. Can be a halfling uh, restaurants in the city. They seem quite fond of their dwarven patronage. We could ask the barmaid. Ooh. Yeah, that does sound fun. I'm, I'm sure I could engineer that myself, and then Dennis will just start mumbling to himself for a little bit and scribble some things in his notebook as if, like, he's been caught by a little bit of inspiration and needs to write it down quickly. As you will have to explain your relationship with her at some point, though, that does seem to be quite the character, and plus the stories surrounding her must be uh, somewhat lengthy. Well, then perhaps those are better saved for when there is time to share stories around the fire, as it were. Well, yeah, he deserves it. Then we'll go back to scribbling. Are you quite done um, checking out that book, Yudi? Am I? I think. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, close my spell book and say it's not about what is deserved; it's about what is needed. And yes. Uh, in this book I see, and I'm going to turn my eyes onto the book. Oh. This one is divination. We're being tracked, aren't we? Um... I... Then still look up from his notebook. And just kind of give you a pointed glance. I believe so. Yeah, it's going to be shocked. I'll go back to his notebook. I'm going to go through the book and see if I, I understand it a little bit better now. Or is it still like completely Latin to me? All excited, I'm gonna start scribbling down um, the, the new connections I made uh, before eventually slipping both books back into my well, where they belong. One to the bag, one under my robe, or not robe, cloak. As you do that, I will look up and say, "Well, aren't you going to do something to get rid of the spell?" Oh, I have no idea how. Oh, wonderful! Isn't that your specialty? Yep. Lovely. Well, it seems we will be dealing with uh, an in intri- <laughs> Is it ab- Oh, is it ab- Yeah, it- 
Yeah, Abjuration is to remove spells, but, like, he's a Div Wizard. Divination is his specialty, so I figured he'd have a way to get rid of the fucking Divination spell. I actually don't think I've ever told you about a specialty. Uh, the, the only thing you've referenced, or you, you've heard referenced, was when I said I was a Div Wizard to the Firebeards, right? Yes. No, I'm a Div Wizard, because that's all I fucking talk about. <laughs> But yeah. Unfortunately, I, I personally have no means of, of removing this spell, this pesky thing. Um, but I, I will hold responsibility for that, and the book will stay on my person. Yeah, as well, that doesn't really change the fact that we will probably all be targeted when this uh, personage arrives to retrieve his belongings, which, quite honestly, I can amply sympathize with. Well, Have you strike a nerve about a book being taken? Yes, well, I don't believe that um, divination for dummies was it has was passed down through this poor lich's family for generations before finally arriving in your hands, only to be burned in in an arson and then reappearing in this dwarven city on Mondas. But well, I mean, the I'm sure that and I'll set my fingers and make some sparks. I'm sure that he would most appreciate having um, his belongings returned to him, and I can't fault him for that. Though, if he was so careless as to leave them lying around, then that is partially his fault as well. Uh, in any case, have you learned all you need to learn from that book? Can we possibly just? Drop it into the bottom of a river or something. I haven't even begun to understand this book completely. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well. Well then, unless we wish to uh, embark on a quest to disenchant this book of its... Uh, Tracking spells, as it were, since our resident div wizard cannot. <laughs> I would suggest we move on to um, the plan to retrieve my property and acquire new property for uh, our very, very young friend here. Hmm, interesting. At that, um, at that, like, to reacquire my property and acquire new property, you will kind of like raise his glass at Themis and give a little nod with a, you know, <laughs> very like Gatsby, like, oh, well done. <laughs> I, I, I trust that we will have use of this property as we are being so helpful in its acquisition. Themis will raise his glass in turn. Yes. Um. Now I have to think back and remember everything that Rogan fucking told us. Jesus fuck. God damn. Which wasn't Very much, but it was yeah. so cryptic. It was so cryptic when he did that it's just like my my mind is muddled. Right. We know a little bit about the Shadow Knight because he he heavily implied that they existed. That's right. Right, right. In fact, he incriminated himself more by assaulting a priest of Vulcan. Um, I remember that I had had, um, way back when, I had had Mimbar look into his whereabouts and uh, the Shadow Knights. I remember this. Right when we got to the city, I had had Minbar, like, look into his whereabouts and, uh, his organization and, like, kind of keep an eye on them. Because I, I, I left the bar right away. Uh, 
and we got into a whole argument about it. Yeah, it was, right? Right. But, um, I'll go, I'll probably go back, if we can't figure out where he might be through our discussion, then I'll probably go back and ask her, and I probably have to report back to her anyway, you know, considering, you know, the situation with the safe house and all that. I mean, Themis doesn't. I do. It's fun. Well, they wanted they wanted him alive, right? Ugh, always oh, makes it so much more complicated. Well, um, you say that, but we have a lovely priestess of Pluto with us. Yes, but I wouldn't dream of forcing her into uh, accompanying us on our endeavors. She can just sit back and watch and enjoy the show, right? I'll turn to order, Verdica. Oh, come now. You must be bored of sitting on the sidelines. We should both be- I should be rolling deception, and he should be rolling persuasion right now. <laughs> oh, I'm- I'm totally being deceptive. What? Of course I'd love a fucking cleric on our side. What are you talking about? We're, we're good cop and bad copping her a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's more like dumb cop, dumber cop. I am <laughs> exactly. the dumber cop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, you that's your one. I was going to say that if we added me, it was going to be dumb, dumb, and dumbest. Or dumb, dumbest, and dumbestest. Dumbestest. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I, I, I want to build myself faster just... than you, I swear to God. <laughs> God. Hey, why do we have a plus two to constitution saving throws? What? I don't know. That'd be a blood hunter thing? It might be, yeah. Uh, my bad. Sorry, I was just looking at my character sheet like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Imagine not memorizing your character sheet. <laughs> Imagine memorizing your character sheet. That there is, there is a very limited space in my active um, RAM. Okay, that I that I can use. The rest oh, of it is all the problem. fucking what the storage. Fuck are you saving your goddamn information to your random access memory? <laughs> because I, because deep access memory is off limits. There are a lot of dark, dangerous things back there. Okay. True. Not wrong. <laughs> I had more. I had more space before I turned fifteen. Yup. Once yep. we've had many times. Yup. Oh well, I guess I just get two. Wait, wait, why do I get a plus two? Don't understand. So is she being persuaded to? Right, I'm deceiving. Why? Why didn't that roll? Oh. Oh, you're fucking garbo. But 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 roll the persuasion. Roll Don't the persuasion. That's what <laughs> no, we're, we're, help, we're helping each other, so it's at advantage. <laughs> we're helping each other, so it's at advantage. We got this. Oh, well, I only got oh. a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn. Okay, here. How's that? For a double digit number? I don't think it should count. I absolutely don't think that should count, but... Okay, good, good. <laughs> so it comes down to who Avernica is. We're, we're being very, um, uh, obviously... Manipulative bastards. Mani manipulative, yes. Our stories don't really line up. <laughs> I 
Honestly, mood. Wait, I want to recognize the leaves. Are they intelli intelligence, history, medicine? Aw. Sad. Nature, nature, nature. We're about to watch this negative. Hey, 14! <laughs> What? I'll put it. Sad. I should have done alchemist tools. Should have totally been an alchemy check. Hey, Vern, I have alchemist tools. If you want some tutoring, I can give you some. I, uh, yes. I, yes. I have expertise. <laughs> Ooh. Because I am the dumbest of the petite. Yes. <laughs> we, ha we, we killed our last one. Oh, well, that solves a bazillion problems. There are many potions that can just... Ugh! You are a godsend. Truly, godsend. And I mean that in the mundus way, like, god... The, the, the gods and... He, he, then it's just... It stumbles off and starts writing in his notebook furiously. You're just gonna lean in a little bit and be like, What are those leaves you're eating at? Yes, I was curious about that. And then he goes back to his notebook. Yeah. I see. I want to assist with the rotation check. I don't need your assistance. Ah! <laughs> uh, wait. It's, it's a decent thing I literally can't make it. Because I have a zero modifier. Okay, yeah, well, unless you get a nat 20. That's no. a two. How's that? I mean, I don't have a modifier to my charisma either. Ah, yes. I, I've met many people with medicinal leaves before in the past. <laughs> you all really makes me as a type. Um, this is my mind. Sorry, guys. Honestly, she was just taking the fucking <laughs> Stone Age Xan Xanax. Stone Age Xanax. I need to get into like, like, um, making drugs and selling them. I'll support that. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a whole episode before we get ported to another realm about about uh, us all just going on a massive binge. And then, uh, oh, and then, and then, when we get poured into the other realm, all we have on us is this giant bag of homemade <laughs> drugs. <laughs> a whole ba a bag of cash, a couple of, like, uh, legend, not, not legend, uh, magical weapons, and... 
No, no, no. Just, just drugs and maybe a hooker. <laughs> couple of hookers. What? Wait, 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 wait. Boys, boys, boys. Yes. One hooker between three of us, really? Uh, yeah. Because, uh, I'm totally having that bubble butt Viking ass. Okay, okay, I can. And you're small enough that you count as half a person. So, you can share with the other man. Uh, you would like to write a spell, please? <laughs> Mine spike. <laughs> My, like, I can't wait till I'm immune to that spell. It's gonna be funny as fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but she, she she has DPD. She's fucked up in the head. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, holy wait, shit, I just realized. In the no, first wait. section that every um every female character has played, they have just attacked Sierra. Yo. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Oh man, Friday oh, like shit's the, gonna the go wild. Thing coming out of the, the yeah, it's it's similar. It's not the same one. This one seems bigger. <laughs> we still have to talk about um, next session failure because um, yeah, I mean it's it's on your schedule, my guy. Uh, my schedule. Dude, I don't have a schedule. You're we the one that had to work. Like, we played League for like five hours a day. I know. I forgot. I forgot, okay? I forgot, okay? Yeah, I can creatively keep you in the brain. fucking loop where you make decisions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the... yeah, technically true. We went on a fucking lost streak. It was it was beautiful. We went on a win streak and then a lost streak. I mean, at least at least you didn't forget to lock your gate and accidentally let their entire army into your base. uh... (laughs) Uh, No, 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 especially like when you're way ahead and then like your army is just barely starting to come up, but then like you go, oh hey, they don't have a very big army and they bomb rush you with cavalry. Oof. Yeah, that would be terrible. It, w- it yeah. would never happen, though, right? Uh, especially when I put you in charge of military affairs for the for the, I want to say duchy, but I know it's not um, satrapy. You're you're gonna not leave the gates open, right? Uh, no, I I uh, I always lock them. I wasn't talking about me. Let's. I was, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I was Wait, winning. Were you I guys doing PvP? I did. I played one. Yikes. I got to count, I got, I got, I got to all three, uh, ages before they did. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get this done tonight. Cause, cause, fuck. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we could go find him right now and... Bring him in. I am a fan of doing things quickly. Um. Yes, but he was hunting a dragon, was he not? He was. Yeah. They do tend to have hordes, you know. And uh, a dragon's body is a, a a true treasure trove in itself of alchemical and uh. Other materials. Okay. So you, you want the body. Think it would be um, more. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm considering to it. To have him. You want the body, yes? Well. I don't believe that the body of the dragon equates to its hoard, per se. 
think we should each have an equal share. Well, of course, that's why I was saying. If you want the body, and, and I'm going to look at Yorin, I'm assuming you want the weapons. I'm fine with the gold. Ah. All right, then. You will take the gold. You will take the body. I will take what is left. How's that sound? Why not just split it all equally and we can trade for things we don't we don't want? Yugi will pause for a moment there, like the thought never occurred to him, and be like, Yes, I suppose we could do that. Wonderful. So I suppose I should have asked this before I said that I just wanted the gold. But what kind of weapons does a dragon have? All kinds of weapons, of course. They like shiny magical things, as far as I know. Ooh. And of course, what weapons would you be bringing with you to kill a dragon? The most powerful you could find. Mm. Mm. Ooh, dragon's bane. Yes, you know, if we, uh, if only we could bring him in before uh, we went to kill this dragon. It. I do remember one of. Mm, I may be able to recreate it before the battle, but. Uh, probably not. Ah, uh, shame. Dragon's Bane would have been quite helpful. Well, in that case, since we don't know what the timeline is for Ragum's uh, events, we, we also don't know where he is right now. I say we just find him, and we tail him until we kill him and the dragon. Well, no, we bring him in alive, remember? Um, oh, correct. Oh, that's yes. true. We can kill him, and then our uh, most gracious friend here can bring him back. Um... Okay, so, player to player. Do we want to have, like, uh, what shall we call this? A time lapse? A preparation period where we all just kind of do a bunch of shit and say it happened and, like, skip a few days and then go after Raukum? It would also give the DM time to, you know, produce a fucking dragon. <laughs> You know, that if kind of we thing. if we get to the dragon this session, because it's Raugum and he's not going to be found easy, because Raugum. Uh, yeah, wait, he wait, wait, wait. Raugum's gonna be found super easily. What are you talking about? He's gonna be super easy to find. How so? Because he has a bunch of resources to keep him hidden. He never uses them. We also have a vial of his blood and an information network pinned on him. Yeah. Okay, well. We're in a very, very powerful position right now over him, and he doesn't even really know it. Hmm. So, see. for once, we, we have an advantage, I feel. But that's also, like, just my player's thoughts. I'm just saying, do we want to have, like, a period of a few days where we all prepare, you know, um, UD tracks down Raugum with his blood, I go talk to Minbar, and blah blah blah, and then we just kind of Oh, that would be all Yorin. I'd, I'd have to task Yorin with that, because I can't actually track with blood. It's That's all Yorin. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. You could, you could just follow along with him. Yep. And we could just go together, and then just sneak back. That works. Okay, but like, my question is, do we want to skip a few days? I am completely down for that, yes. To wait for him to go into the cave. And well, so uh, we did. I, I would like to do some research on what dragons are in the area. Exactly. And, but, like, you can do some research. I can work on some potions. Y'all can, can, can track down Raugum. Like, do we want to do a time lapse, basically? I would and be very happy with that, yes. So, what you're saying is that we just say that we did all the things that we were good at talking about so we can get to the part of killing the dragon? Without, without having to RP it, necessarily. Because what is Yudi going to do? Yudi's going to go research dragons. I'm going to work on some potion shit. Uh, you're going to track down Raugum. So the only real RP part is you tracking down Raugum. And me talking to Minbar, maybe. And I also Yudi would like to do some meditation at some point, and I, I, I'm curious as to... Because I have an idea of how I want to RP that, but I'm curious, you know? So I want to, like, beta test that a little bit. <laughs> beta test. Okay, so we're good to, like, have an ellipse. Or an Is it ellipsis in English? Ellipsis means dot dot dot. Yeah, okay, then it's ellipsis. 
in French, it's, it, it eeps. So it's, it's... You mean to elapse time? Yes. Which is a different word. No, it's a... It, no, French, French doesn't trans- translate here, I don't think. It eeps. Yeah, no, it's, it's the same context, but, like, the, the word itself doesn't, like, directly translate, I believe. Yeah. Sarza path the Orient nightmare. That's what now. Whoa! Can we fight like a? Um. We're not fighting it. Or, or We're take, taking both the kills. Or or path the um, fever dream. Like. Can no, we, like, downgrade our dragons on it? Synod, it's okay. We got so this. int? I mean, <laughs> hopefully not write it down. Hopefully just take the part where you just take kills. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> not salty, by the way. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> Simon, with an E-Y. Simon. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh I'll go first. Like for I mean, our... I just wanted to set up some shit before we get going, but it doesn't matter. Because if everything's happening at the same time, then who cares? So, go ahead, Rago. Uh, Yolram. How dare you? How dare you hey, man, you guys both have ums at the back of your... Uh, at the end of your names, okay? Well, we agreed that I was going to use the vial, or at least some of the blood from Yudi. So, I'll start by... And then place it on my armor, and just go where it takes me. I'm, I'm, actually, no, I'm not going to follow him for this, fuck. Do you want me to follow you for this? I mean, I feel like having backup is not a bad plan. Okay, I'll follow you for this, then. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will tail. Do I, and I know that you're tailing me? Yes, I, I will okay. inform you with message okay. or by telling you previously. Okay, um, let's just assume previously. <laughs> well, is the blood noticeable on my vest? Because it just seems like it's a. All over my face and hands and <laughs> looking for Malcolm. <laughs> all right, all right, baby. First, first, first roll of Yoram's career in this session. Oh, fuck. Oh my g- uh and a two. Oh okay. Woo. Yay.
Oh, perfect. Uh, does he see Mond? Or do they see Mond? Uh, I'm going to try and get as close as I can. Uh, no, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a place where I can fantasy them uh, without drawing too much attention. I will hit him with it. That is correct. I'm going to walk up behind them and remove their cloak while whispering, I hope you have a lovely dream. The picture? Ah, oh, mais monsieur, you really should not have. We are not worthy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> For a second, I thought that it was the Raifu post, and I could, but... This is what you see, the Raifu. <sighs> They are. I will remove the blade from him. Yep. And then I'm going to step back a few. Kind of, kind of measure out the distance, get exactly 35 feet away from him. Uh, and then I'm going to have the weasel bite his ass. What? I'm going to have the weasel bite his ass. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the weasel keep trying to fight until he finds a spot in the arm here. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him like, really, man? He's he's frozen still for you. <laughs> Hello, good sir. How may I help you? Oh, I'm hiding the blade, by the way, behind my back. I'm sorry, say again? Oh, well, you see, I see a young boy like yourself, um, probably lost, and I, I, of course, just had to come extend my, my aid. No, but neither are you. I'll show him the blade. Yeah, well, just a precaution. Lulai. Beautiful name. Where, where is that from? What are you doing here, kid? And how do you know him? And so, why are you following him then? Uh, 
<sighs> All right. I'll I'll um approach and hand him back the blade. Come, we'll speak with him. Only vaguely. And uh, if he's in range, I'll I'll message him to to hold up. Um, what was the kid's name again? Young Ma. Thank you. Hold on, writing in my notes. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I told you I to stop. Um, is there a way that I can acknowledge what you said back to you in my mind, or is my I mind believe it's like fourteen words or something that you can just respond with me. Um. In my mind, I or almost say, "What is it? I am on the track." All of a sudden, I was saying, "Oh, there's um, this kid named Shunmar here to see you." Um, do I know the name? DM. Or actually, um, who does he say he is? Back to Yuri. Well, child from your village, apparently. Yoram will just be kind of taken aback and a little confused. Would you like me to turn back and come back to you guys, or are you going uh, to catch up to me? We still see you. Just find somewhere without many eyes. We'll catch up. All right. Um, so Yoram will kind of continue in the direction that he's heading towards the pole and find an area that is kind of secluded off the road that is still... Easily accessible, but not out of the open. Now about one of these casting, like, some spells to see through a disguise, but I'm, I've got to find those spells first. God damn it, man. Why, why are you going to word things like this to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just giving you shit. Don't worry about it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is actually just an Elder Lich. <laughs> How do you spell the boy's name? Oh, I got that atrociously wrong. H J E L M N O. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <Cute. laughs> I was gonna say it's not even wearing a helmet. Do I understand what he's saying? Uh, no, I uh, I didn't. It uh, it it spaced my mind. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, no, no. I don't see how you could have missed that. Some yeah. logical stuff. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone knew that you were planning on playing a Viking from Old Norse, so we all studied it and knew exactly. What he's talking about. And, exactly. And do you know what the <clears> only <throat> thing I have to say to Strippy is after this? Hmm. 
Your pronunciation was impeccable. <laughs> Aw. From someone who said pronunciation. Kind of nice. Um, responding back in Old Norse. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> gotta do my thinking cap for a second. What are you after, boy? Hopefully there is a long stretch between my life here and Valhalla. Not returning to the village. Which, in my... Knowledge is no longer at all what I left it to be. Power that I do not want. Never wanted. What does shirk mean? <laughs> really shirk? That's that's the problem here. I'm sorry, I'm not an English major, sign on. I'm not an English, English major. He's not an anything major, actually, neither am I. I will be a Lit and Lang major, but that's different. Um... So he's basically telling me that I'm not going to take responsibility for what I was born to do. Yep. People can think whatever they want about me. None of it might not be true. And some of it is. And that is not for me to decide of whether or not what people want. And how can I improve their lives? When I left, I watched the entire village burn down. Most everyone inside. And then throughout the entire village, massacred and slaughtered. I'm surprised that there are any that remember my name. Or that to my grandfathers and mothers.
What is the state of the village now? Who decided to send you? You cut out. And how do you know of my name? Your own will just be deep in thought. I wouldn't necessarily call it abandon, but you hear that? The only suspect is set by ever. So, what is your opinion on it? If you are so noble to come and track me down, then. You do not believe those petty lies and deceit. Lies and deceit. Disguise and critique. These are the P's and Q's for everyone that you meet. I, I've trained Lenny to know the answers to that. Oh, yeah. I love, I love saying something and then seeing it become so crucial to your life, Sinon. Like, I fucking love that. I, don't, I can't explain it. That's kind of how friends work, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Chum. Meta laughing. <laughs> we know how we feel about meta shit in this server. Better, better. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> meta gamers get fucking executed. Exactly. Better, better sleep with one eye open when you come here, man. You right. <laughs> There was not much help to give, especially after what happened. No, I did not. I was very young and afraid. No. Screw your story arc, DM. <laughs> It has always hardened me that I left. Especially for the reasons that I did. What is happening in the village? And, and I will need more of an answer than you will have to come and see for yourself. And so then how come they want my help? Because I've been gone long enough that you might as well consider me one. Yes. 
even though I even though I left them to suffer and die. I will not take the place that my grandfather left for me, if that's what you're after. And boy, that is not me. I have no claim to it, and I have no desire to claim it. That's me. Dad. God, what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I mean, he, of course he was. I will consider it, and I'll give you my word. Excuse me? We? Oui. Yeah, your room gets a squire. <coughs> Good. Mm hmm. I don't like so. Me and my friends are lonely. I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. I've been having that song on fucking repeat for the last week. It's it's kind of nutty. That's sad. Why have you have you done that to yourself? Because yeah. I am espresso depresso. I am aggressively espresso sad depresso. boy hours. Aggressively sad boy. Then uh, <laughs> then uh. Start being sad boy and be a happy boy instead. Yeah, well, we're working on it. We're Damn. working on it, man. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, step one: um, smoke more pot. Hey, right, you know, right. You're not wrong. You know, I would if it didn't give me panic attacks, but I, I it does, so I don't. Is he a dildo artist? Sounds lame. Yeah, not wrong. <laughs> I mean, it kind of sounds like Bo, to be honest. But we don't comment on that. What do you mean? And then the multiverse opens up, and then... It got burned down. I see. Oh. 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 Connections. Originality. Shots Ooh. have been fired. Question mark. I mean, we haven't really delved into either of their backstories completely yet, so I'm, I'm going to reserve my judgment for a bit. Shots have been fired. Exclamation mark. Yeah, honestly, though. 
Yes. Do we right? Do we recognize Drago? Is it the bear one or is it a different one? Talks and fox. Um, I will point out to UD and only UD that um, it's him. Yeah, I would have set up a test here, but then Raugum did some dumb shit while I while I tried to set up my test, so I don't actually have a way to test if this is Raugum or not. See, originally when I cast Phantasmal Killer on him, I was uh, I was going to be like, oh yes, I observed his reaction, so I would know when I cast it again if the fear was the same, right? But then he just kind of like glazed over that, so I'm like, okay, I have no fucking clue. Um, so yeah, I'll just say let's. Uh, stick around for a bit, see if anyone comes out. If not, one of us will go get Themis. Um, unless you want to just stake it out for the night. In which case, I would be happy to walk away and inform Themis. Themis has um, appropriated a corner of a uh, uh, Raven's Eye chapter house and has set up a, a series of beakers. And uh, burners that he's experimenting a load of potions on. My answer still stands, though. Yeah, I mean, you can you can try to find me. I will. You I'll just head off. back to to wherever we're staying, and I'll start meditating until you get back. Yeah, where are we staying? I mean, you could always ask. Uh, what's her face to send me Burnica? a message? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Man saving the name of a bar for something more important? Oh shit, I'm worried. Right. Yeah. Um, I kind of sit myself down. Uh, just on the floor is fine. I'm under my breath. Uh, no, not yet, actually. The weasel's going to make this... Uh, now that we're alone, right? The weasel's going to make this um, kind of kind of shrill squeal. And taken aback, you go kind of look at him and be like, I'm not being hypocritical. I'm just... Doing what I have to do. And then um, sit back down and be like, ah, but it really doesn't feel good to have to kill a friend again. And then I will start focusing on the Stone of Jade. So, diving into it, I'll be met with the memories I had from, from the, the libraries, um, specifically the start of me figuring out my magics. Um, a flash of my first memory um, will be coughing up the water on, on this craggy, rocky beach, um, only, only to be met with this woman. Um, who nine days after I, I had awoken named me. I believe nine days. Um, and I'll come out of my meditation. Uh, and it'll probably have been like three, four hours past in that.
Uh, I'm just waiting for those now. Yeah, report to Minbar. Um, about the safe house. Mostly that a lich was uh, the cause of the disturbance. And that... Yeah, the safe house is probably compromised. <laughs> Only probably. Yes. Oddly enough. Yes. I mean, we probably will, because we're tracking down Raogun, and then we kill the dragon, and then we come back, and we'll probably have to go after the, the fucking Court of Bun Bone. Um. Right, um, I'll ask about, uh, whether or not she did any research on, or what, what she found, really, on Raugum's Shadow Knights, as it were. Mm. Specialized. Yeah, I'm not gonna enlist the Raven or suggest that we go against them. This is a personal task. Uh, whether or not they have found said dragon, where it would be, that would make things simpler. I can't. Oh, great, of course. Why couldn't we just want a fucking bronze dragon? You know? Simple it up. I know. Why oh, so we're basically killing an innocent creature because Ragon picked up right. 
Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Hey! So, how, how far out of uh, the altar room is it? Oh, no, no, it is not. Holy, okay, so. We're there, we're crossing all the way to here. Fuck me, okay. Eh, no dragons closer than that? <clears throat> nudge, nudge, wink, wink, DM. He's getting oh. teleported there. Uh, uh, all that does make things simpler. Um, Alright. When she says that, I'll probably ask how much a teleport out there costs. Well, for... Any organization to teleport us out there, or individual, as it were. But the four of us. Trans with four of us out there and back. The cost, Minbar, the cost. You know I'm not too squeamish about these things. Ah, oh, dear. I see. I had presumed so. You were always the busybody. He'll give it just kind of a toothy grin. <laughs> you never could... You don't think you could... You know, you do know that I am specialized in potions and alchemy, right? There there are, I'm sure, a number of things that I could do to assist your, our, <clears throat> our clients in that domain. Yeah, it can never be easy. Fine. Though... Yes, fine. Uh, once again, I am dead. Yes. And uh, when we jump into the portal unannounced, it will uh, destabilize itself and cause a rift in space-time and destroy the world as these things tend to go. Um, fine. I will be indebted to the eye. Wouldn't be the first time. There's good debt and bad debt, as we both know. <laughs> you would. I bet you do. <laughs> mm, a few hours after he leaves, if you are still... Uh, shall we say, keeping tabs on him. Well then, 
Perfect. So, how much do I owe you, then, for four people there and back? A number would be nice. Before the task. Fifty-five hundred. Well, I've been worse debts. Fair enough. Um, and have you realized the scope of the threat that lies in the sewers beneath our feet? No, though I'm sure that the number of sentients that you've uncovered have sufficiently uh, rid you of your appetite. Well, that'll definitely be helpful. Hmm. That is quite wise of you. You seem to have learned your lesson the first time. Quite the achievement, if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, do let me know when you make your move. Uh, my companions and I have seemingly been targeted by them and will not have a, any issue with uh, assisting in the raid. Yes. Hence my, uh, acquisition of your, uh, common room. Well. I don't pull rank often, but I must, uh, use my privilege when it is necessary, after all. Uh, I would be glad to. Are you looking for a necklace or a, uh, or a set of mail? Of course, and if I can pay it off when I get back, all the better. Yes, only about this case. <laughs> quite true, quite true. Well, let it never be said that I keep life dull. And adventures, don't forget those. Ah. 
<sighs> How unfortunate for you. Maybe if you decided to get out from behind that desk, you'd uh, have more adventures, even in the bedroom, if you were lucky. You know what they say about my... Denied. Always the most expedient option with you. Ah, oh, well then. Don't let me keep you. It was a pleasure doing business, Nunbar. We'll just kind of give an exaggerated bow as he goes out of the room into the, <laughs> into the common room to requisition more tables. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll send you a, a list of the potions. I'm gonna... Eat. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Or are we just Um, are the health potions going to be as expensive at other shops as they were at the shop last week? Oh, we're yeah. using different health bonds. Yeah, well, I mean, you have health potions. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think of something that I might need because I don't know. You, you, you have health potions. Very, very good health potion, by the way. Mm -hmm. I like I like the idea of researching resistances. Oh, wait a minute. Let's look into all three.
Hmm. For just one of the three potions? Oh, I see. Yeah, let's do that. Yay, an eight gold. All right, um, that's all the gold I'll have to spend, so I guess there's nothing else that I can really do. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to do some research on dragons, specifically, uh, their interactions with things like invisibility or, uh, legendary resistances. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, yes. The, the highlight would be the invisibility thing. I want to see how they, they see invisibility or not. Please, no. I mean, we're swooping in near the end, right? So, how cinematic of a battle do you want before? <laughs> and also, technically, we don't need to kill the dragon. We should just kill the people that remain. Yeah, I was going to say, right? Like, Ragum doesn't know we've betrayed him. Or you could just read The Hobbit. Okay, good enough.
Ah, layer actions, I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Um, would there be anything to research about, like, what those actions are? No chance, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start reading halfway through that and be like, oh, okay, so we're fucked, and then stop reading. Cool. Yeah, uh, Yudi's going to leave whatever scriptorium or library he uh, found that information in, in very low spirits. Always. <laughs> I kind of terrified, boy. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to know how he found me. So yeah, I have, I have, I have a, a lower. A lot of persistence. Does he seem like he's telling the truth about it? All right. Uh, roll 20, don't embarrass me. Oh, I'm still on advantage, whoops. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. All right, that's all I can think of. I have other stuff that I could ask him. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he really does seem like he's telling the truth. Okay. Uh, no, but we we could try the idea of hitching a ride with Yudi, or with uh, Raugum. Which would be, like, really the last thing I, I feel like we could try today. An eye on the house. You know what we should really get? Some enchanted earrings that let us talk to each other. Honestly, like message stones that like are, are freeway linked where we can all communicate with each other, that would be fucking nice. I mean, I plan to do something similar to that, but I need to set up, like, essentially, um, a server in, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, satrapy. That's a weird word to make, but yeah. Um, once, once we get the satrapy, or if we get the satrapy, rather, I'm, I'm gonna start doing a lot of development stuff. Uh, including information networks um, and then like rapid communication. Ooh, definitely that fit into then as well. I mean, but that's that's going to be after like revamping industry, agriculture, and then uh, taxation and stuff like that. Mm. I've I've got the admin work to do first, you know, <laughs> before I can start doing cool shit. All right, I yes yes, dragon's bane oil. Ugh, that's a fail. Ugh, oh, that's also a fail. Can I take that? Yeah, well, I only have to pay attention to them for... Uh, let me see. Uh, da, 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 24 hours for the Dragon's Bane. Uh, two hours for the other two. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. The problem is taking taking ten would would make me fail, basically. 
because it's a, it's a it's a DC twenty. So the dragon's bane oils work, but the last two do not, which is a shame. Is but at least I didn't spend any money. At least I didn't spend any money. Because it's a DC-20, DC-25, and then DC-15, I don't really have anything in there. Oh, wait. Actually, uh, let me roll another one. Let's see what I get. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, alright, so I'll add a few um, resets of... How do we plan on doing that? Yes, how how exactly do you plan on swooping in at the last minute and murdering both him and a golden dragon? Um without putting our lives in danger. Well Well we are rather party. Danger, as it were. Right? So of course we would accompany him in the final push. But it wouldn't make sense for us to burn our resources on the initial battle. That's for the infantry. That's for the cannon battle. Your disregard for sentient life would concern me had I had a part to play in your creation. Hmm. Another place where the Geos doesn't have <clears throat> Never mind. Uh, Yugi's gonna, Yugi's gonna have a time with that. In any case, I have secure transportation, and we should have no issue paying off the cost of it, uh, if we actually succeed in our endeavor. And should we fail in our endeavor, then I don't believe that cost will truly be an issue. But, of course, it is up to you. We could appear at his location uh, an hour or two after he has arrived, or we could travel with him and have to deal with his insufferable, inane chattering. Oh, I wanted to keep my enemies close. Would he even want to travel with us? I don't see why not. After all, not. You, you'll kind of look up to the left a little. Five days ago, we were going to kill a dragon together. I'm only suggesting we do. Well, all right then. You all know Ragum. I have a lot more than I do, so... Actually, that's not entirely true. I know him about, like, three days longer than you do. Traveling with these people for almost a week now. Or for, for just over a week now, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've done some shit. Yeah, definitely found it. Oh, anyone opposed?
Mr. Caspain himself. We get our next proficiency bonus. Uh, level nine. Hey. Well, after next session, we'll probably be level eight. Or after this session, if the DM is generous. Oh. Hey, man. You don't get anything if you don't try. Exactly. Exactly. Actually, uh, with the with the DMs in this oh, server, it's more like you miss more shots, you keep too. taking them. Yep. Wait, what do I want my ASI to be? Jeez. Wow, I literally have the pick of the litter. That's worrisome. You know, all of a sudden, I want uh, I want some kind of cold resistance, but you know that didn't come up. <laughs> nope. Shame. We don't. Uh, I'm going to catch him in the street and then mes message him so that, you know, his guards don't fucking try and shank me when I approach. <laughs> and uh, I will place the weasel on him. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave the weasel with him, yeah. Oh, and I'm going to tell him I did the thing where we do the random acts of heroism, but I didn't do it. Maybe. I'm sure many Lucky's importance were burned.
Right. Matt Yolrin's ask and my axe and my spell focus. And failure will rememorize the spells and roll to be twenty. A cold resistance. Weird. Wonder what that came from. This is going to be fun, huh? It's not going to be much of a fight. We're going we're gonna to get our asses handed to us so fucking hard on such a silver platter. It's a good way to. It's a good way to end the campaign, right? The true. Struffy was saying we uh, we were going to take like a sabbatical in in a post apocalyptic world. What he meant was he was going to nuke us to high heavens and then yeah. send us to another world with different characters. Logistics are getting a bit fucky, but yeah. Maybe maybe we just found like a magical item in, in the dragon's horde and it, it just TPs us into a different world. What? We don't know what happened. Okay. Here we are. Yes. Oh, please no. I'm begging. I'm begging you. Please don't let him be on the aisle. Actually, let him be on the aisle. Let's send him cannon fodder. Let's send him forward. Forward as cannon fodder. He's cannon fodder. <laughs> hey, uh, Sophie, you wanna you wanna take a look at what spells I'm taking into this fight? Little red dot means it's prepared. I hate it when that happens. I really want that ASI. It feels bad. Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I already have a 14 in con of 20 in dex, so I can't even I can't even increase dex higher. Uh, oh yeah, that's a fun one. Kind of potion or book or something that will increase my max dex. <laughs> my smooth brain click button. <clears throat> uh, probably hideous laughter, not gonna lie. Legendary action? I don't remember how this works. It's okay, it's just the wizard preparing for things because the rest of the party's just gonna come along and hit things. Hmm. 
Turn that good old one, two, three. I mean, right. I have to give you over oil of dragon's bane for both his fucking axes. Yeah, I will. Everybody gets two and uh, two greater health potions, and uh, Yolrum and I both get oil of dragon's bane because you know the spellcaster doesn't need oils for his weapons. Hey, so, I'm not a dagger. Right, right. Well, oil of dragon's bane is a uh, fucking very rare, which is a DC twenty five, which I was lucky to even get. I got a fucking twenty six. Right, and I failed both the secondary rolls, which would have been a potion of invulnerability, which gives me resistance to everything, and potions of invisibility, which you know says what it does, does what it says. Man, you need to make something to be invisible. Yes, yes. And considering, considering I'm a hack and slasher, basically. Yes, I do. Oh, uh, how much will push of cold resistance run you? Me? Me. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm thinking in case I need to do some dumb shit, yeah. Why are you guys getting potions of cold resistance? Because I'm completely expecting to have to clutch up. Not gonna lie. But why specifically cold resistance? Because Yudi's already resistant to fire. Oh. And bludgeoning, so... <laughs> what about piercing from its jaws and slashing from its claws? And if I get that close, it probably means I fucked up, huh? True. So as long as I don't fuck it up, Hey, you know what time it is, though? Aw, oh, sad. True. True. That's, uh, that's another time. Nice. Oh, he didn't fall asleep. Woo. Congrats. Woot. No, he kind of did. Oh, uh, yeah. He he just doesn't have to get up early tomorrow morning, so he can power through it. Hey, good man. Yay. I get to sleep in for the first time in... Oh... Forever. Week and a half. For the first time in forever. I get to sleep past six o'clock. Oh my goodness, what greatness it will be. To be in bed alone. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see where it is. This is my Raifu. <laughs> there. Okay, well, I am going to go to bed. So I will see you guys later. No, I just didn't see Good night, James. Wow, he was out of here quick with a quickness. Jesus. He member. He members. What about you, failure? Are we? Are, you want to play some reek of Regions? Uh, not until I get my win streak back, so that I can have you. No, in no, my no, no, no. Again. <laughs> Not, not ranked. I mean, take a huge puff off the vaporizer, and.